Now let's look at some more examples of uh, solutions on an interval on a number line. And let's convert these to interval notation. Uh, so if I have something, you know, let's just say like this. You know, here's 7. And let's suppose this is a closed circle. Okay. If this guy here is a closed circle, what that indicates to us is that we are including 7 in the solution. Now, if I were to shade out here to the right, just like I had in the last example, shading out to the right means that I'm starting from I'm starting from 7, and I'm going out to the right, so I go towards, again, positive infinity. Remember, going out to the right is positive infinity. If you go all the way out to the left, we denote that with negative infinity. Okay, just like that. Since this is a closed circle, that means that we will have a bracket. So, a closed circle causes us to have a bracket, and again, we will always use parentheses on the infinity. In fact, the only time, the only time that we're going to have a bracket with our interval notation is when we have a closed circle. That's the only time. Remember, whenever you do interval notation, you always read from left to right. So remember, read from left to right. Always read from left to right. So keeping that in mind, let's look at this next example. Suppose I have on the left negative 12, and on the right I have 3. And let's suppose that this is an open circle, this is a closed circle, and then I want to include everything in here. Suppose, and I'm just saying, suppose this is my solution set. Now, what this means to us is that all of our solutions are occurring between negative 12 and 3. Not only are they occurring between negative 12 and 3, we're including 3 with the closed circle, but we're not including negative 12. That means from the right, you can get as close as you want to to negative 12, but you don't ever get to include negative 12 in the solution set. So when we write this using interval notation, you always go from left to right. So as I go from left to right, I'm coming from negative 12, I get to 3, and then I'm going to stop at 3. Having the open circle means I'm going to use parentheses. Having the closed circle means I'm going to use a bracket, just like we've shown up here and in the last video. So open circle is what this guy is going to tell me. And this tells me I have a closed circle. You may even see it written this way in the book. Um, not that I have a problem with the way that the book does this. I'm just going with the way that I was taught many, many years ago. To express the same thing on the number line, you may see the textbook on the number line have the parentheses at negative 12, have a bracket at 3, and then everything colored in the middle. Uh, that's another way of, of expressing that, and that's fine. And it makes it a lot easier to go to the, um, the interval notation. I'm just more of a habit of using open and closed circles because we end up using those whenever we get to graphing some things in 0310. Okay, let me give you another example and see what you guys can come up with. So suppose I have this interval, and I suppose this number is 10. Close circle, and all of my solutions are going out to the left. Keeping in mind that I need to be able to read this from left to right to put it in interval notation, I have to understand what's out on the far left in terms of what is shaded for my solution. Well, as we mentioned before, going out to the far left, we'll use negative infinity because there's really no smallest number. You keep getting out here, uh, you're going to get negative numbers, and going to get larger and larger in a negative sense. So we use negative infinity. 
Now, since we're trying to read this from left to right, on the left we have coming from negative infinity, and then we pick back up, or we, excuse me, we stop here at 10. We always use parentheses for infinity because you can never include that. You can never get there and grab it and hold on to it. Uh, but 10 is one of those numbers you get to stop at and include. Um, it's colored in, it's filled in, closed circle. So that's going to tell us that we will have a bracket over here. Okay? All right, let's try a couple more. Let's try try this guy. If I have from 5 to 13, and suppose I have closed circles on both of these, and I'm including everything that's in between. Well, since we do have closed circles on both of these guys, so both of these guys are closed circles. That means I'm including both 5 and 13 uh, in my solution set. So from 5 to 13, uh, they're both closed circles. They're both included. So I will use a bracket for both of those guys. And see, any reader can come in, understanding that we're talking about interval notation, and see that we have brackets. And they should know that we're talking about we're including 5 and we're including 13. In this example we had up here, they should read and see that we're including 3 but not including negative 12. Understanding, of course, this is interval notation. Alright, let's try one last problem here. Suppose I have 1 half here and I have 5 here. I'm including everything that's to the left of 1 half, and I'm including everything that's to the right of 5. Now what you see in this example is that we have two different intervals. They're on the same number line, so we're going to have to write this as a, as a combined uh, interval uh, with interval notation. That's pretty simple to do. What we're going to need to understand here is that since these guys are disconnected, we want to join them together, we're going to use this symbol right here. And this symbol means a union. And we're going to talk more about that in just a little bit. So if I take this first part over here, understanding them coming from negative infinity, I would write this as parentheses negative infinity to one half. Since I have an open circle, I know that I'm going to use parentheses here because I'm not including one half. And then on the other side, so I'm using the union symbol to join to kind of bridge the gap here. I'm going to pick back up with five. Since it is included, it's filled in. I'm going to use a bracket. So I'll start at five. I'm going to keep going out to the right to infinity. Remember, out to the right, you're heading towards positive infinity. I'm going to put parentheses around that. So the only thing here that even has a bracket is going to be the 5, and the reason for that is because it's colored in, it's filled in, it's included.